Hello friends. If you are among the smartest 4 million people in this world right now, following the carnivore diet, or planning to start this zero-carb way of life, you must listen to what the godfather of the carnivore diet says about it. Just remember, without this, your carnivore journey would never be completely rewarding. Well, the King of Carnivore, Dr. Sean Baker's book, The Carnivore Diet, is a comprehensive guide that explores the benefits and practicalities of adopting a meat-based diet. Comprising of 11 main chapters, this book makes a compelling case for a meat-centric lifestyle, backed by personal anecdotes, scientific evidence, and historical context. Dr. Baker shares his own miraculous health transformation, critiques modern dietary guidelines, and argues how humans are evolutionarily adapted to a meat-based diet. He debunks common misconceptions in this regard, strongly emphasizes the nutritional benefits of meat, and highlights the carnivore diet's immense potential to adequately manage and cure various chronic diseases. The book also provides a practical advice for transitioning to this diet with maximum results, supported by various real-life success stories of people who had serious health conditions. And there is a real fun part, as Dr. Baker also critiques veganism, exposing its potential risks and the associated health hazards. But there is a little problem here. Not everyone among us has the time to read an entire book in this busy day and age, but access to the main knowledge base has to be done somehow. So finding a solution to this problem, for the ease of our viewers, we have compiled a powerful and precise summary of Dr. Sean Baker's top-selling book, perhaps the best guide for anyone wanting to extract the maximum possible benefits and results from the carnivore diet. We'll cover the 11 chapters of Dr. Baker's book in a crisp and concise manner, giving you a clear understanding of the Godfather's perspective on this wonderful diet and lifestyle. Just sit back, relax, and try to gain the maximum possible knowledge from this exclusive video. Meanwhile, play your part in supporting the carnivore community by subscribing to our channel, helping us spread the healing message further. Let's get started. Chapter 1. My Story. In the opening chapter of The Carnivore Diet, Dr. Sean Baker shares a deeply personal narrative that provides insight into his transition from conventional dietary practices to adopting a meat-only diet. Dr. Baker recounts his background as a competitive athlete and an experienced orthopedic surgeon, roles that initially guided his adherence to mainstream nutritional guidelines. These guidelines emphasized balanced meals with substantial portions of vegetables, fruits, and low-fat foods, which he meticulously followed. Despite his disciplined lifestyle, Dr. Baker faced persistent health issues, including declining athletic performance, chronic fatigue, and debilitating joint pain. These struggles led him to question the conventional dietary wisdom that he had long trusted. His search for solutions began with experimenting with various dietary approaches, including the ketogenic and low-carb diets, which offered some relief but did not fully resolve his health problems. The turning point came when Dr. Baker decided to eliminate all plant-based foods from his diet, opting instead for a purely carnivorous approach. This radical change brought about dramatic improvements in his health. He experienced a surge in energy, enhanced mental clarity, and a significant reduction in inflammation and digestive issues. Dr. Baker's athletic performance also improved, allowing him to regain the vigor of his earlier years. Throughout this chapter, Dr. Baker includes anecdotes and real-life events that illustrate the transformative potential of the carnivore diet. His narrative is not just a testimonial, but a call to question the prevailing dietary norms and consider alternative nutritional strategies. By sharing his story, Dr. Baker aims to inspire readers to explore the carnivore diet as a viable option for achieving optimal health and well-being. Chapter 2. Where Did We Go Wrong? In this chapter, Where Did We Go Wrong? Dr. Baker offers a critical examination of the historical evolution of dietary guidelines and their impact on public health. He traces the origins of modern nutritional advice back to the mid-20th century highlighting key moments such as the publication of the Seven Countries study by Ansel Keys, which linked dietary saturated fat and cholesterol to heart disease. This study significantly influenced dietary recommendations, leading to the demonization of animal fats and the promotion of carbohydrate-rich diets. Dr. Baker argues that these guidelines, although well-intentioned, were based on flawed science and have contributed to the rise of chronic diseases like obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. 
He cites various studies and statistics to support his claims, pointing out that the increase in processed food consumption and the emphasis on reducing fat intake coincided with the epidemic of metabolic disorders. The chapter also delves into the lipid hypothesis, which posits that saturated fat and cholesterol are primary causes of heart disease. Dr. Baker presents evidence challenging this hypothesis, including data from recent studies that show no significant correlation between saturated fat intake and cardiovascular risk. He also discusses the detrimental effects of high carbohydrate intake, particularly from refined sugars and grains, on our metabolic health. Dr. Baker calls for a reevaluation of current dietary guidelines, advocating for a return to nutrient-dense, animal-based foods. He emphasizes the importance of examining the historical and scientific context behind these guidelines to understand how they may have misled the public. This chapter aims to equip readers with a critical perspective on conventional dietary advice and encourage them to consider alternative nutritional approaches for better health outcomes. Friends, we would highly encourage you to participate in this journey. What has been your experience on the carnivore diet so far? Which health conditions you managed to heal so far? Do share in the comments. Chapter 3. Evolutionary Guessing Game Moving on, this chapter explores the evolutionary and anthropological basis for the carnivore diet, suggesting that humans are naturally adapted to a meat-centric diet. Dr. Baker examines the dietary patterns of early hominins and modern hunter-gatherer societies to support his claims. He references studies on the Maasai, Inuit, and other indigenous groups whose traditional diets are predominantly animal-based and who exhibit low incidences of chronic diseases prevalent in Western societies. Dr. Baker delves into the physiological adaptations that make humans well-suited for a meat-based diet. He discusses the development of a shorter digestive tract compared to herbivorous animals, which is optimized for digesting animal proteins and fats efficiently. He also highlights the presence of specific enzymes, such as those involved in protein and fat digestion, that further support the human body's ability to thrive on a carnivorous diet. The chapter contrasts these adaptations with the challenges posed by plant-based diets, which often require extensive processing and cooking to be digestible and safe. Dr. Baker addresses the issue of anti-nutrients found in plants, such as oxalates, lectins, and phytates, which can inhibit nutrient absorption and cause digestive issues. He argues that the bioavailability of nutrients in meat is superior to that in plant foods, providing a more complete and accessible source of essential vitamins and minerals. Dr. Baker also discusses the role of animal foods in human evolution suggesting that the consumption of meat played a crucial role in the development of larger brains and higher cognitive functions. By presenting a comprehensive evolutionary perspective, this chapter aims to justify the carnivore diet as a natural and optimal dietary choice for humans. It encourages readers to consider the ancestral context of their food choices and the potential health benefits of a meat-centric diet. Chapter 4. Addressing the Questions Next in the chapter, Addressing the Questions, Dr. Sean Baker systematically tackles common concerns and misconceptions about the carnivore diet. This chapter serves as a comprehensive FAQ, addressing the sustainability, ethical considerations, and potential health risks associated with a meat-based diet. Dr. Baker begins by discussing the environmental impact of the carnivore diet. He acknowledges the criticism that a meat-heavy diet is unsustainable but counters this by highlighting the inefficiencies and environmental costs of large-scale monocrop agriculture. He advocates for responsible farming practices, such as regenerative agriculture and nose-to-tail eating, which can reduce environmental impact and promote animal welfare. He argues that grazing animals can help restore soil health and biodiversity. Next, Dr. Baker addresses potential health risks, such as nutrient deficiencies and long-term safety, he provides evidence from scientific studies and anecdotal reports to counter these concerns. For instance, he explains that essential nutrients often thought to be lacking in a carnivorous diet, such as vitamin C, can be obtained from organ meats and fresh meat. He emphasizes the importance of consuming a variety of animal sources, including organ meats, to ensure a balanced intake of essential nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. Dr. Baker also discusses the common challenges people face when transitioning to the carnivore diet, such as cravings for carbohydrates, digestive adjustments, and social pressures. 
He offers practical advice and troubleshooting tips such as gradually reducing carbohydrate intake to ease the transition, ensuring adequate hydration and electrolyte balance, and preparing responses for social situations where dietary choices may be questioned. This chapter aims to provide a reassuring and evidence-based response to potential objections, encouraging readers to consider the carnivore diet as a viable and beneficial option for their health. Chapter 5. Meet the Superfood Now the interesting part begins. The chapter Meet the Superfood highlights the nutritional benefits of meat, positioning it as a superior source of essential nutrients compared to plant-based foods. Dr. Baker explains that meat is rich in high-quality protein, healthy fats, and a wide range of vitamins and minerals, many of which are more bioavailable than those found in plant foods. Dr. Baker delves into specific nutrients abundantly found in meat, such as vitamin B12, iron, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids. He presents data on the bioavailability of these nutrients, demonstrating that animal-based sources are more efficiently absorbed and utilized by the body. For example, he discusses how the heme iron in meat is absorbed more readily than the non-heme iron found in plants, which can be inhibited by compounds like phytates present in plant foods. The chapter also addresses concerns about the health effects of meat consumption, particularly regarding heart health and cancer risk. Dr. Baker cites studies that refute claims linking meat to increased disease risk, arguing that these risks are often associated with processed meats and unhealthy cooking methods, rather than meat itself. He points to research showing that meat consumption, when part of a balanced diet, does not correlate with higher incidences of heart disease or cancer. Dr. Baker advocates for a varied and balanced approach to meat consumption, emphasizing the importance of choosing high-quality, nutrient-dense cuts and incorporating a range of animal foods, including organ meats and seafood. He also discusses the benefits of saturated fats found in meat, arguing that they are essential for hormone production, brain health, and energy metabolism. This chapter aims to dispel myths about the supposed dangers of meat and to educate readers on the many health benefits of including meat in their diet. Dr. Baker's argument is supported by scientific evidence and practical examples, positioning meat as a cornerstone of a healthy, nutrient-rich diet. Chapter 6. The Myth of Planty Goodness Moving on, in the chapter The Myth of Planty Goodness, Dr. Baker challenges the widely held belief that plant-based foods are essential for optimal health. He argues that many of the purported benefits of plant foods are overstated and that their consumption can lead to serious health issues. Dr. Baker begins by discussing anti-nutrients found in plants such as oxalates, lectins, and phytates, which can interfere with nutrient absorption and cause digestive distress. He explains that these compounds can bind to minerals like calcium, iron, and zinc, reducing their bioavailability and potentially leading to deficiencies. For example, he cites studies showing that high oxalate intake from foods like spinach and nuts can contribute to kidney stones and other health problems. The chapter also examines the role of dietary fiber, questioning its necessity and benefits. Contrary to popular belief, Dr. Baker presents evidence suggesting that a low-fiber diet can improve digestive health and reduce symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome IBS. He references studies indicating that some individuals experience relief from gastrointestinal issues when reducing or eliminating fiber from their diet. Dr. Baker also addresses the environmental and ethical arguments for plant-based diets. He argues that sustainable animal farming practices, such as rotational grazing and regenerative agriculture, can be more environmentally friendly than large-scale monocrop agriculture, which often relies on chemical inputs and disrupts ecosystems. He suggests that well-managed livestock systems can enhance soil health, sequester carbon, and support biodiversity. By debunking common myths about plant foods, this chapter encourages readers to reconsider the role of plants in their diet and to explore the potential benefits of a more meat-centric approach. Dr. Baker provides a balanced perspective, acknowledging that while some people may thrive on plant-based diets, many others could benefit from reducing plant intake and focusing on nutrient-dense animal foods for optimal health. Chapter 7. Let Food Be Thy Medicine and Other Heresy Moving to more critical stuff in the chapter, Let Food Be Thy Medicine and Other Heresy, Dr. Sean Baker explores the therapeutic potential of the carnivore diet for managing and reversing chronic diseases. This chapter delves into how a meat-based diet can act as a powerful tool for improving health and combating various ailments. 
Dr. Baker begins by presenting case studies and scientific evidence that demonstrate the carnivore diet's effectiveness in treating conditions such as obesity, diabetes, arthritis, and mental health disorders. He shares stories of individuals who have experienced significant health improvements, such as substantial weight loss, stabilized blood sugar levels, and reduced inflammation, after adopting the carnivore diet. One key mechanism discussed is the anti-inflammatory effect of the diet. Dr. Baker explains how eliminating plant-based foods, which can contain anti-nutrients and irritants, helps reduce systemic inflammation. This reduction in inflammation can alleviate symptoms of autoimmune diseases and chronic pain conditions. He references studies showing that a low-carb, high-fat diet can decrease markers of inflammation, like C-reactive protein, CRP. Dr. Baker also addresses the role of the carnivore diet in stabilizing blood sugar levels. By removing carbohydrates, the diet helps to maintain steady insulin and glucose levels, which is particularly beneficial for individuals with diabetes or metabolic syndrome. He cites research indicating that ketogenic and low-carb diets can significantly improve glycemic control and reduce the need for diabetes medication. Mental health benefits are also highlighted, with Dr. Baker discussing how the diet can support cognitive function and emotional well-being. He references studies showing that high-fat, low-carb diets can enhance brain function and mood stability by providing a steady source of energy for the brain and reducing neuroinflammation. Overall, this chapter aims to inspire readers to consider the carnivore diet as a therapeutic option for improving their health. Dr. Baker emphasizes the importance of a nutrient-dense diet for supporting the body's natural healing processes and achieving long-term wellness. Chapter 8 Let's do this getting started. Here comes the ultimate beginner's guide. The chapter, Let's do this getting started, provides practical guidance for transitioning to the carnivore diet. Dr. Baker outlines the steps for adopting the diet, preparing mentally and physically, and managing the initial adaptation phase. Dr. Baker begins by advising readers to approach the transition with an open mind and a willingness to experiment. He emphasizes the importance of gradually reducing carbohydrate intake to minimize withdrawal symptoms, such as headaches and fatigue, which can occur during the initial adaptation period. He suggests starting with a ketogenic or low-carb diet before fully committing to the carnivore diet. The chapter includes tips on meal planning and grocery shopping. Dr. Baker recommends focusing on a variety of high-quality meats, including beef, pork, lamb, poultry, and seafood. He also highlights the importance of including organ meats, which are rich in essential nutrients like vitamins A, D, E, and K2. He provides practical advice on how to source, prepare, and cook these meats to maximize their nutritional value. Dr. Baker also discusses the role of hydration and electrolyte balance in supporting the transition. He advises increasing salt intake and considering supplements for electrolytes like magnesium, potassium, and sodium to prevent symptoms like muscle cramps and fatigue. Social situations and dining out are common challenges for those adopting the carnivore diet. Dr. Baker offers strategies for navigating these situations, such as planning ahead, communicating dietary preferences to hosts or restaurant staff, and bringing carnivore-friendly snacks to social events. This chapter aims to empower readers with the tools and knowledge they need to successfully transition to the carnivore diet. Dr. Baker's practical tips and troubleshooting advice help readers overcome common obstacles and achieve lasting success. Chapter 9, Character Studies and Anecdata. Moving on, in the chapter, Character Studies and Anecdata, Dr. Baker shares a collection of stories and testimonials from individuals who have successfully adopted the carnivore diet. These case studies illustrate the diet's transformative effects on various aspects of health, including weight loss, chronic disease management, and mental well-being. Dr. Baker presents a diverse range of experiences, highlighting the diet's versatility and potential benefits for people of different ages, backgrounds, and health conditions. He includes stories of individuals who have overcome significant health challenges through the carnivore diet, providing real-world evidence of its effectiveness. One compelling story features an individual who reversed type 2 diabetes and lost over 100 pounds by following the carnivore diet. The person reported stabilized blood sugar levels, increased energy, and improved mental clarity. Another case study involves a woman with autoimmune disease who experienced a dramatic reduction in symptoms, including chronic pain and fatigue, 
after eliminating plant-based foods and adopting a meat-based diet. Dr. Baker also shares anecdotes from athletes who have enhanced their performance and recovery through the carnivore diet. These athletes report increased strength, endurance, and faster recovery times, attributing their improvements to the nutrient-dense and anti-inflammatory properties of the diet. By presenting these character studies, Dr. Baker aims to provide real-world evidence of the diet's effectiveness and inspire readers with examples of dramatic health improvements. He emphasizes the importance of personalized nutrition and encourages readers to experiment and find what works best for their unique needs. Chapter 10. Veganism, the False Hope In the next and perhaps the most interesting chapter, Veganism, the False Hope, critically examines the claims and promises of the vegan diet. Dr. Baker argues that while veganism is often promoted as the healthiest and most ethical dietary choice, it can lead to nutrient deficiencies and health problems. Dr. Baker begins by highlighting key nutrients that are difficult to obtain from a plant-based diet, such as vitamin B12, iron, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids. He presents evidence showing that many vegans struggle with these deficiencies, which can lead to long-term health issues like anemia, cognitive decline, and compromised immune function. He references studies indicating that vegans often require supplements to meet their nutritional needs, which can undermine the diet's natural and whole food premise. The chapter also discusses the potential negative effects of high carbohydrate intake in vegan diets, which can contribute to insulin resistance and metabolic disorders. Dr. Baker argues that plant-based diets, often high in grains and legumes, can lead to spikes in blood sugar levels and subsequent health issues. He cites research showing that a significant portion of vegans report digestive problems, such as bloating and IBS, due to the high fiber content and anti-nutrients in plant foods. Dr. Baker critiques the ethical arguments for veganism, suggesting that sustainable animal farming practices can be more environmentally friendly and ethically sound than large-scale monocrop agriculture. He discusses how responsible livestock farming can improve soil health, sequester carbon, and support biodiversity. He argues that ethical considerations should also include the well-being of humans who may suffer from nutritional deficiencies on a vegan diet. By presenting a balanced and evidence-based critique of veganism, this chapter encourages readers to consider the nutritional adequacy and potential health implications of their dietary choices. Dr. Baker emphasizes the importance of bioavailable nutrients that are readily absorbed and utilized by the body, which are abundantly available in animal foods. Chapter 11, Loose Ends and Odd Bits. Towards the end, this chapter addresses various miscellaneous topics and common issues that arise when following the carnivore diet. Dr. Baker covers practical aspects such as how to handle social situations, dining out, and dealing with criticism from others. He also discusses the importance of hydration and electrolyte balance, especially during the initial adaptation phase. Dr. Baker provides tips for managing common challenges like cravings and digestive adjustments, offering solutions to help readers stay on track. This chapter includes advice on incorporating organ meats into the diet to ensure a well-rounded intake of essential nutrients. Dr. Baker highlights the benefits of eating a variety of animal parts, including liver, kidneys, and bone marrow, which provide a concentrated source of vitamins and minerals. By addressing these loose ends and providing practical tips, this chapter aims to equip readers with the tools and knowledge they need to successfully navigate the carnivore diet and overcome any obstacles they may encounter on the carnivore journey. Well, friends, here we are with the concise summary of Dr. Sean Baker's best-selling book on the carnivore diet. We hope that you would massively benefit from the knowledge and insights we share in this video. Do share your journey and experience on the carnivore diet in the comments. Press the like button if you found this video helpful, and do share it with your friends and loved ones. Subscribe to our channel for more great videos related to your vital health and wellness. And do you know which 15 nutritional deficiencies could get the carnivore diet banned? Watch the video showing up on the screen to find that out. See you.